Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to use tuber powder and caca oil on your hair effectively and in the right way. I'm going to be using my mom's hair to do this video. Please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Okay, now let's start. And of course, to do this, you need your bowl, a teaspoon, your cherry powder, and your caca oil. You need a teaspoon of cherry powder and a bottle cover of caca oil. That's how you measure the mixture. So if your hair is about six inches, you can use two teaspoons of cherry powder and two bottle covers of caca oil. After mixing the cherry powder and the caca oil together, this is what my mixture looks like, and this is how it's supposed to look like. It's not supposed to be too thick. It's not supposed to be too what tree or too oily it's just supposed to be in the middle you need to make sure your hair is wet and she has already washed her hair so it's time to use the cherry powder and caca oil mixture on her hair now i need to section a particular strand of her hair to use this i can't just pour everything on her hair i need to focus on applying it on the strands and i have to make sure that it doesn't touch her scalp <coughs> This is simply because the mixture touches her scalp. It's going to irritate her scalp and it can increase dandruff, especially when this mixture is supposed to reduce dandruff. But if you are going to be applying this mixture on your edges, it is safe to put it on the scalp because your scalp, your edges rather, is open to air so it won't irritate the scalp. Make sure you focus on all the strands and you, you rub it on every strand of that particular of the hair of that particular section. And as you are using it on the hair, you'd notice that your hair is detangling by itself. That's one thing that chibi powder and caca oil mixture does to your hair. Chibi powder and caca oil is a magical hair strengthening and moisture mixture. It's an ancient method the Chad and Sudan women used to grow and manage their hair. Chebe powder is a Chadian mixture of herbs and it is primarily made from lavender croton. It is a shrub and it is grown all over Africa. This shrub is used for medicinal purposes. It is a powder made from cherry seeds, raisin tree saps, clove, stone scent and lavender croton. Chebe powder has many benefits. It cleans the scalp and prevents fungus or other scalp issues from growing in. It neutralizes the pH of the hair shaft and the scalp. It allows moisture and makes the hair grow long and nourishes it. It keeps the hair moisturized and lubricated, preventing any breakage. It's the world's best kept secret for long hair and it is 100% natural and non-toxic. Chebe powder contains vitamin A and B12. Sometimes chebe powder is called other names like shebe powder or chewe powder. Let's talk about caca oil. Caca oil is an Indian hair growth remedy, mostly called sesame oil. This mixture will in essence lock moisture to dry damaged hair and impart all the vitamins and nutrients from the chebe powder into the hair shaft and hair follicles. Caca oil is a combination of sesame oil, which is heated, and then bee honey wax, animal fat, and perfume are added to the mixture. This mixture is believed to stop hair fall, remove dandruff, and thicken the hair. The sesame oil in the caca oil has an abundance of fatty acids that are good for your hair. It's also a source of vitamin E and K. Caca oil also gets rid of scalp dryness and flakiness. It can be used as a scalp massage oil to improve scalp circulation which can stimulate your hair growth. It can be added to your deep conditioner on your wash day for extra moisturizing effect. When using chebe powder alone, no hair growth is noticed. This confirms that using chebe powder alone doesn't grow your hair. It simply aids with slowing down the loss of moisture on your hair which helps to strengthen the hair. While using chebe powder and caca oil, you can also use other products on your hair. This mixture doesn't stop you from using any other products on your hair. And once you've used it, you wait for 7 days, you leave the mixture on your hair for 7 days, then after 7 days, you can then 
rinse it off just with water nothing more you don't need anything this mixture can be applied on your hair when you're on braids but make sure it's just on the hair strands okay thank you for watching my video hope you enjoyed it please don't forget to like and comment if you have any questions you know where to find me on ig and i have a facebook group as well so it's hair it once just join the group bye